Keto and crime, keto and crime. We uncover the crime on keto and crime. Keto and crime, keto and crime. Now is the time for keto and crime. Well, everybody, this just in, in the uh, trial of the McMichaels and William Bryan in the murder of Ahmad Arbery, we have uh, pretty much a full across the board guilty. Um, Gregory McMichael, 65, his son, Travis, 35, and William uh, Bryan, their neighbor, uh, were found guilty today on most charges. Uh, that is up to nine different charges per uh, assailant uh, were charged, uh, including malice murder on all three, which is basically Georgia, according to Nate the Lawyer, is Georgia's version of first degree intentional murder. Then there was felony, three counts of felony murder associated with three different other felonies, uh, false imprisonment, assault that were charged on all three as well. Both McMichaels were guilty on all nine charges. William Bryant was found not guilty on malice murder and one of the other felony murders because he was found not to be involved in the uh, the other felonies. So basically this was a heavily charged incident. I did a full video on what happened that day. I'll put it up here. This verdict is right in line with the way I thought it would go. A lot of evidence came out in this trial, and uh, I was shocked at a lot of it. What, what I was able to watch, I did not watch as closely as I did the Kyle Rittenhouse trial, but I did go back and watch a lot of the live streams later. And what I realized is that uh, Ahmaud Arbery had visited that, that construction many, many times, as had a lot of people, but it, 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 I think... We have to admit, I think he was not just a jogger. I think he was up to no good. But uh, just because somebody may or may not be to, up to no good does not mean that you have the right to chase them with a gun and shoot them, even if there is a citizen's arrest law. They did not catch him committing a crime. They only saw him running away from the house, which evidence presented that could have been a neutral sort of thing. Yes, because of other evidence that was brought out in the trial, I do believe that he was up to no good and probably stealing from the house along with many others uh, that were caught on video. But that doesn't give you the right to chase someone, especially in defense of someone else's property, corral them in and shoot them like this happened. So basically, both of the McMichaels guilty of what the jury sees as them uh, intentionally trying to kill him, as well as false imprisonment, assault, and then the murders that go along with those. Uh, Brian, who was the one filming it, was found not guilty of malice murder. I believe his, the jury believed it was just his intention to film it, which is kind of sick in its own way. Um, and then he was found guilty of a couple, one of the assaults and one, and two of the assaults and one of the, uh, two of the associated felony murders because he did help to, as well as the false imprisonment, because he did help to corral Ahmaud Arbery in. Uh, all in all, this is a tragedy. Even if there is a sense, a citizen's arrest law, don't do this. Big difference between what happened here and what happened in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. That was 100% pure self-defense. It went out guarding a community at the behest of someone else. This was kind of this was weird. This should never have happened. My my heart does go out to the, the to the family of Ahmad Arbery, and um, yeah, I think justice was served. I absolutely think justice was served here. And for those of you that there's gonna always gonna be somebody that doesn't like what I have to say, I I you know I I see it all the time. Uh, race has nothing to do with it. I don't care what color these people are. Um, I go 
facts. I, I look at the facts. Like I said, I was 100% convinced before the trial that he was a jogger. Literally, the only thing that I had um, that dissuaded me is the clothing he was wearing. It's not clothing that I would ever choose to, to jog in, you know, as much as until I jog. But um, that was the only thing. But after seeing other evidence in the trial, yeah, I believe he had been and out and probably had stolen some stuff and was not the best of character. But just because somebody isn't the best of character, if you see somebody like that skulking around, then you call the police. You don't take matters into your own hands. You certainly don't try to corral the men with a gun and then cause a struggle that ends in their death. You just don't do that. Now, if he had kicked down one of their doors to their houses and came in with, you know, with a gun, trying, yeah, that's a totally different story. But that's not what happened here. I think it was just, uh, this was pure vigilantism uh, at its purest, and I think the, the verdict was correct. So... Two of the big ones down. Now we have the trial of uh, Jeffrey Epstein's uh, former uh, compadre, Miss Maxwell, going on as well in New York. I'm sure uh, Roberta Glass over at Roberta Glass True Crime Report will be covering that, from probably actually from the courtroom if I know her, because I don't think that's streaming anywhere. But um, I will keep you abreast on any updates uh, from that trial as well, as well as we get back to our normal true crime content. Uh, tomorrow, I have the um, the Astro World uh, tragedy with Travis Scott. And then Saturday, I have a top 10 Stephen King countdown with Jim at the Atheist Edge. And Sunday, the my expanded version of The Vanishing of Janet March. And with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're in the United States. And if you're not, I hope you have a wonderful uh, rest of your week. And I will see you soon. Until next time. Heal crime. Out.